We on? We're good. All right. Let me tuck this wire in here. We got a sad puppy. Look at him. What's going on? Look at him. You can tell his old demeanor. He knows we're getting ready to do something. Ace. Hey, hang on with us, everybody. We like to bring you a little bit of what we do. If you don't like what we do, he has got the turn off button. Well, you know what? This is. I'm going to show you a little bit of our life. Our whole time we've been on here for the last four or five years, we kind of like to show you kind of our life and, and just some things. So do where I live and all that. We got a dog with some fleas. He's got a flea collar and a tick collar on. Look at him. And he got a shot. Yeah, and a shot. And but he knows this is for him, don't you? Ace. And he, he has spray or is it spray foam or stucco on him? Ace. Is it stucco? You gotta get. We gotta take care of you, buddy. <laughs> so they were saying we should give him a flea bath. Amanda said at dawn we'll take care of fleas, right? It kills them. All right, so we got some water. I'm gonna pick him up and put him in here after we get some Dawn on it. Now, how long's the Dawn got to be on his belly and all that? I'll just wash him really good, then dip him, and it'll get all the fleas off of him and stuff. But it kills them. The Dawn kills them. I, I do it for Annie. Yeah. I'll wash her real good with him and get him off of her too. And he's got a Soresto. We we put Soresto collars on all the dogs. Yeah. They last for it's against fleas, ticks, different things for eight months. And I just bought brand new collars for George and Annie. And they're eat up. And they're itching too. So you can't get a, a collar on the field. So, but, but George, I mean, uh, Ace has one. Ace. And it ain't working. You see his face. He's got and these his are big eyes. Feet. His eyes are like sad. They're going down. <laughs> Bless his heart. So I'm filling this up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I hate narrating. I wish I could just do a film without talking to the camera. What do you think, buddy? We don't have to stop it. Huh? We don't have to stop it. Stop what? We don't have to stop what? The camera. No, I know. I just... I think the whole world's watching here. So <laughs> but here's the Dawn. Do you think it's enough water? Yeah. That's All right, enough. I do Dawn did for some liquid. All right, buddy. Oh, boy. All right, buddy. You ready? You want me... No, no, no. Okay. I'm going to get him down. Okay. Get him with some, uh, Dawn. Come here. Come over here. Come over here. Look. And you'll see all the, well, it's a black container. You may not see all the fleas then come off of him. All right, you going to lay down? I got to get on your belly. You got him on your belly. Okay? Okay. Sit down here. Sit down. Sit down. Okay. <laughs> Good boy. You stay. You stay. Good boy. It's all right. We've already sprayed him a little bit, and he's a little gun shy. Yeah. You stay. It's okay. You stay. Bless his heart. Oh, it's all right. I'm gonna give it's you a little. It's okay. It's okay. Stay. You're good. Look at him. Bless his heart. He's gonna be all bubbled up. Oh, you it's rub okay. that in there, buddy. Yeah, that feels good. Ooh. I wish somebody do this to me. <laughs> Put Dawn dishwasher liquid all over All over my belly and rub me. <laughs> Aww. Poor baby. What do you think, boy? It's okay. It's all right. Them old fleas got to go, baby. Them mean old fleas. <clears throat> Don't you ever wonder, and I know everybody does this, what's the point in gnats? What's the point of fleas? What's the point of these? Um, I mean, I'm sure they feed other animals in the, the chain of you know, the circle of life and all that stuff, so. Something must eat fleas and eat the gnats and flies and everything that aggravates us. What do you think, buddy? Huh? How long's that got to sit like that? Oh, that, that's okay. Just that's good? Rub it, just rub it in good and then put him in the water and they will come off of him. And, uh. All right. This might not be come able here. to see it. Come here. Hey. I'm gonna pick you up. Oh, okay. he's running from me. Come uh -huh. here. It's okay. It's look, okay. Look, look at his eyes. Well, it's okay, Pumpkin. Okay, ready? Move it over here.
Doesn't that feel good? Doesn't that feel good? I'm gonna splash you. Okay. Ooh, you it feels good. They'll run to wherever it's not. So we got to get him all over. Yeah, and then we can we can turn this thing on too. The water. And do it. Oh, buddy. It's all right. How's there you that? go. Get you all soaked up. Put some on the top of him too. Yeah, get rid of him on nasty please. You probably see them in the water. Good boy. This is all I ever do put on mine. Um, hopefully it'll work for him. Yeah. Hey, come here this way. Here, it's okay. There you go, in There it's you okay. go. Good boy. You stay. Like being in the pond, ain't it? <laughs> Good boy. This is hard. Look at him. It's all right. Here, we'll pinch a little bit more. We'll put a little bit on there. Yeah. Make sure we get clean and get all these nasty God, things. how are we going to get that off of him? Oh, he'll get it off through the pond and all the different kinds of things. But he was scratching and scratching. Now, this don't hurt his, his no. eyes, right? No. It won't burn no, his no, eyes? I wouldn't put it in his eyes. Yeah, it'll burn his eyes. It's soap. Good boy. There you go. There you go, pumpkin. <laughs> so Ace is a wired-haired griffon. Yeah. And um, Hi, Ace, baby. I used to have dogs all the time, and uh, I had a Labrador Retriever for years. We, man, I, gosh, I bet I had them for thirty. Some I had a couple, three of them. And uh, wanted something different. Couldn't afford one. He was kind of pricey, but I wanted him to be our mascot, you know. Yeah. And I wanted him to be a part of my kinda business. Like a shop dog. Yeah, and I wanted him to be. Yeah, get over here a little bit, buddy. There you go. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I wanted. It was a special thing getting him. I. He was part of the business and everything, you know. And. Uh, He's got a job. His whole temperament and his his whole look was for the company and for me and um, I needed a really resilient dog. I wanted one that didn't uh, shed, you know, and he doesn't mm -hmm. shed. And um, he's really good and but people but you know, we've had people comment, you guys might have heard about it, that uh, he runs around here without a without a leash. And we have a leash law here, and he's the only one that doesn't pertain. And I'm not good with being in a. Probably I've never lived in a community, you know. Yeah. And I, and I don't know. It's probably not right of me not to have him, but on a leash. But he, I don't have the time during the day to walk him and all that stuff. And and my whole thing was to before we started this community, I had him. And anyway. I've had people mad because he wasn't on a leash, and I think he used a bathroom on somebody's deck. And uh, so, and anyway. everybody's really took him under their wing. Like he's got his route that he goes around. Everybody at the shop takes care of him. Everybody gives him a little snack. Know. They love on him and stuff. And he's he's really, you know, like I just want to uh, do a shout out to Mary and and Brian who who. Help take care of Ace a lot. Like they will, it, it gives a lot of. Mary has gotten so much enjoyment out of him uh, because they're not uh, like a lot of people around here. They're not able to get a dog right now if they travel if they do other things. And uh, he kind of fills in for the people who are not able to have an animal right now. Will and Becky same way. Will and Becky. They the got same a dog way. dish waiting out there for him. They have a place for him. Mary and Brian have uh, got him a bed. They bought him a bed. They buy him toys. Uh, Will and Becky, he goes over there and gets his um, his his lunch a lot of times and stuff. So. And he's always riding in their golf cart. Always. You stay there, buddy. We have guests that really look forward to seeing him and stuff. And you know, true dog owners and true hey. animal lovers, they pitch in and they help each other with all their dogs. Like Zach comes here with his little dog. We'll give it treats. We love on it. All that kind of he stuff. He runs wild. I let him in the office. Yeah. Mm. If you if you really love animals, you're 
and they're not aggressive and they're not biting anybody or hurting nobody, they, you're not going to be bothered by it. Well, he's and he's barked at a few people, but you know, I don't know. It's maybe it's a character thing he's seeing somebody. I don't know, but maybe not. But. Oh, I think they just get spooked sometimes at stuff or just something different. But well, anyway, I don't want to hurt anybody's different. feelings around here, and I don't want to act like I'm taking advantage of. All. I'm not that kind of person. I know it looks like it when we don't have him on a leash, but he. Uh, this is my home. I mean, I live here, and. Um, my, I'm here all the time, and this is his this is his backyard, you know. Well, and two, so. one of the things things are changing. It might be one of the things you want to talk about: the new building and what's going on. Yeah. Or the addition. Okay. Um. So I'm, we're going to fence in the entire part of the of the factory here. Mm -hmm. So we're going to fence it in, and and again, if you're tuning into this video to see tiny homes tonight, um. I hope we can get to show some. We turn these videos on and just show you how we live. We show you what's going on. This is like part of our life. So uh, anyway, just bear with us if you like. Yeah. But um, so I'm gonna. We got to put a fence around the whole thing. I started with this great big fence, but since then I've changed my mind, and we're going to build a building out here that is. Uh, going to be all along this whole wall and then go down all along the other wall and we are going to have you know a big big part of it's going to be privacy for the get for the people that live here right it's going to be nice and we're hoping to fence all this in for him not just for him but we have to legally for our insurance purposes right. you know i've always been one to always want everybody to come on in here walk around the shop i love it but I'm and I'm not being naive. I know, so, but it's in my mind. I'm like, ah. <laughs> I'm thinking, who in the world would ever sue me for tripping in a shop? They they know it's a shop, you know. And I know they will. But it's just in my mind. I'm thinking, surely not. And anyway, people that protect me and my business, which is my insurance company, said, of course they will, Randy. And as much as I wanna not think they will. I have to take precautionary measures now. I'm not in the backyard out here building tiny houses. Right. We've got a legitimate business where I have hundreds of people rely on us to build their homes. That's right. I got a beautiful puppy waiting on to get out of this pool. Your and we got a bunch of employees they depend on. The yeah. Paychecks. So yeah. I've got to, I've got to obey rules that I normally wouldn't want to do. I'm, uh, I really love showing people around and, and I guess I choose in life to, to look at the good in everybody. Even though people come at me and show me their bad side, I still say, yeah, they're just having a bad day. They'll get over it. Well, you know, time will heal it, whatever. And a lot of times it don't. A lot of times it turns into a, a mess. You know, people don't want to forgive and go on or they just can't. And that's fine. Um, but I, I have to worry about this or be concerned about it when we have so many people I'm responsible for. Mm -hmm. Are you ready, buddy? I'm going to let him out. Yeah. Oh, don't fall. Wait, Ace. Don't jump out. No, nope, you stay. Now you ready to go? Just go waller in all the mud you can, okay? Look at him. All right, I'm going to get you out of here. Ready? Set? Go! <laughs> Woohoo! He's shaking his tail. Where are you going, Ace? Look at him shake, shake, shake. <laughs> shake, shake, shake. You're going to shake, shake, shake. Good boy! Good boy, Ace. Look, he's gonna take off. I gotta get in the pond. Gonna go jump in the pond. You're gonna jump in the pond? Okay. Come on. Let's go get in the pond. Rick, is he go Ace don't go get in the pond? Yeah. Oh, Randy. He's all clean. Get in the pond, Ace. Get him. Get him. Get him, buddy. Get out there and get him. You're a good boy. I usually throw some rocks. Now, he loves water, but he just won't get in it. Watch. Get him, Ace. Ooh. Oh, Come on. Come on. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get in there. So I go down here. It's a little bit less steep. Come on. Hey. Come here. Get in here. Get him, Ace. Get him. Come here. Come here, Ace. Get him. 
There you go, Ace. <laughs> hey, well, the frogs are jumping in. Look, get him, Ace. Come here, buddy. Where'd you go? Come here. Come here, Ace. Good boy. Come on. Come on over here. Come here. Come on. That's it. There you go. There you go, buddy. Hey, look, there's some leaves that's turning. Yeah, they are. Yep, fall's coming. Even though it was a beautiful, warm day today. Yeah. You want to kind of explain this area? Because I know I had somebody ask me about this area today. What is kind of your plans for this area right here? All right, so there's where them poles are. I was going to put a big tall fence and all that stuff, but now we got to build a building. And I'm going to put a big tall building 20 feet high. We're going to put regular trusses. We've already ordered them and all. Um, we love our arch, but it just takes so much labor to do. Yes. Me and my son built the first part of that 100 foot, mm -hmm. and we had the time. We didn't have the money. You know, we had more time than you did money. Right. That's what was created. So I'm going to build a wall here, and I'm going to put wire on the back side of that wall, and we're going to have vines, and it's going to turn into a green wall um, on the building. We're going to get rid of all these houses here. All this gravel is going to go, and I'm going to turn... Uh, this probably a wall right through here and this is going to be kind of a park area for the pond yeah. so all this is going to be landscape put a deck out here we got an aerator so everybody can enjoy it yeah we got an aerator in the pond so we're going to put a deck and some trees and forest so and there won't be any there won't be a road coming driving i don't want any road right there it'll all be gone mm -hmm. and we want to just make sure i don't know i make a pond out that way i don't know but i want this to be so pretty and green and trees and look somebody's that parked out there they're looking. Look at it, tiny homes, Manda. But this will be so beautiful. So picture it, the wall right there, yeah. the building. Maybe a dark gray mm -hmm. wall. I, I was thinking something about like yeah. a darker color. I That's think right. something that would be pretty. Black or dark, Man, black would be great. It'd be really pretty. All the way across the back. I think so. There you go. Because Randy came to me today and he said, uh, I said, what color is it going to be? And he said, oh, probably like, I don't know, white or something. I went, ugh. I was like, no. Yeah. No. Well, I, you know, and it's right because if we make a big black wall there, yeah. I'm going to put uh, fencing on it all the way to the top. All the way to the top. And then with the, the vines will just grow all yeah. over. It'll look like a beautiful wall. Exactly. And we'll have a park-like setting here. And So so with, with you saying that, yeah. so you're saying instead of at the, the do, at the end of the dome, you all are coming out with the building this way. Yeah. So. Okay? I still want, I didn't tell Tom this, but I still want to take the trusses that we built. He hates fooling with them. There's so much labor. Yeah. To take the dome 100 more feet and get oh, all our good. materials in. Yes. Then we're going to come 130 feet this way with just a regular uh, roof mm -hmm. building. And then we're going to another, another 130 feet that way. Right. All right. My, object, my objective is by the first year, uh, the trusses won't be here till January. We got to build all the walls and the metal and do the. We're going to put some bathrooms in here for the guys. Electrical's got to be redone. So we got to dig the sewer out here. So there's a lot of prep work we got to do before then. Mm -hmm. And we're so busy. Um, so busy. But if we can get that done and the trusses are set and we're good. Mm -hmm. um, but that'll, that'll allow our objective is to build 250 homes in a year and probably mm -hmm. stop at that. Mm -hmm. And I want to, if we can get to that point, that's a sweet spot, I think, with the, the crew, the amount of people. We don't want to exceed uh, 50 people in, that work for us. So we're keeping it right around 47 to 49 people. Um, we do have subcontractors that exceed that number, but they're not employees. And that's in Kentucky and some surrounding areas. So if we can build 25 homes in four to five weeks at a time, average, and it gets us about 50, 48, 50 weeks in a year to build because you got mm -hmm. vacations, you got timing and all that different things. That's our sweet spot. I don't know if I really want to exceed that. If we do, it'll be something that can be man manageable and it's mm -hmm. not going to be something that's going to stress us. Okay. Um, so it's been a long walk to get there. We're still in the process of trying to get to that point. We are not there yet, but this building and the infrastructure will help us. And it's funny, you know, to put this infrastructure in, 
financially is hard. It's a, we're just making it happen. Mm -hmm. So it's a touch and go, but we've got some really good interested people in what we're doing. We got people that really want a lot of homes. Uh, we got, it's just, I feel the business. I can feel the economy. I mean, the economy may go, but with tiny homes and our price of our tiny homes, it's so good. And you guys know this, you know, where can you go get a house for forty, fifty thousand dollars 50000 and live in it and done? Mm -hmm. If you sell a home and you got some equity, you're going to probably come here and buy several. And we're having people buy several homes. We are. And that's awesome. They'll be able to create an income and or provide home, housing for somebody else in their family. Um, you know, we're, we're looking at the land that we own here, how we can put more lots in, how we can be more more everything with just what we have because we are still getting people calling do you have any more lots available yeah is there anywhere i can put this home so we're trying to figure out how we can uh, uh -huh. um, you know take care of that that need but you got to understand i i got big dreams right i like yeah. i know i could make all this work i know i could take this whole vision nationwide i know i could do it in another state i'd love to talk to other states and municipalities and and get all this rolling but it's it's i've realized the logistics of making all that happen is probably bigger than what i really want to take on mm -hmm. um we can't we can't build that enough homes mm -hmm. to feed that and so the reason i don't put more lots in is because we can't even keep up with the the demand of building homes mm -hmm. of just people coming in so um we're making some adjustments this year you guys will find out a lot what's going on here the first of the year we got some big big things planned yeah. for the company and for you guys and uh, building some really cool looking houses that I think you guys are going to love. The pricing is going to be really interesting in how we're going to do it. Mm -hmm. So that's probably what I like to do more than anything is take what I have and perfect it and have these men here. I had a young guy working here today and he said, you know, I want to tell you something, man. He goes, I think he's 28, 29. Yeah. And he told me, he said, I want to tell you, I have never worked anywhere, Randy, in my life. Where I loved coming to work and he said I love it here really he's only been here two months I said is that right mm -hmm. I said why what does that and he said you know you've given me the opportunity to learn and to work on my own I'm here working and he said this is really up to me and he said it's mm -hmm. I'm quiet and I get to think and I get to build and, and he said I like I like what I'm doing I never had anybody just give me the opportunity to do this mm -hmm. And I told him, I said, you know, I'm, I'm in the same way you are because our minds work the same. All these carpenters and these boys that are coming up in the ranks and trying to be, they want to do this. It's physically a hard job getting up out of the bed in all kinds of different weathers mm -hmm. and putting up with bending and twisting and nailing and going. Plus, you got to think and you got to be creative and then you got to think about procedures. It's a really demanding job. Right. But you got to love it, you know? Mm -hmm. And some of these boys, don't know they didn't they don't know they loved it you know here right. you can get behind me and i'll show some of the tiny homes but mm -hmm. they didn't know they loved it until they got here and that's why i'm trying to get supervisors so we're actually taking men out of the shop that are excellent builders mm -hmm. and we're we're giving them a supervising position right. asking them they're 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 the one thinking about it and if they could run these men run these boys and instead of building one they can build five right mm -hmm. or four or five and so five so we're looking at maybe, you know, uh, four or five supervisors. Mm -hmm. You know, we also got David Rodriguez going to the Amish and he's going up there helping. We're going to send another person up there helping them. And they're, they're building eight or 10 homes. That's mm -hmm. a big, that's a big deal going on up right. there and it could increase, but we want to hone in and make sure there's everything going on. All right. Mm -hmm. It's that's right. And timing and get better. Um, just to throw a thought out, I wanted to throw you out today is that we're going to add more customer service to what we do, um, mm -hmm. more information. Like we do have a lot of people out here in the forest and we're going to get to their, their underpinning, their sheds. I've seen some underpinning that I didn't like and I want it to be taken down and redone. Mm -hmm. um, and we got some decks to build. All right. Our thing is we don't have enough men, right? We have to build so many homes or we'll go out of business. We have to build these houses. Okay. We got people screaming needing their homes. Mm -hmm. So ours is a juggling of do we take men off here to go do maintenance? that they need or do we keep them on and so we're we're back and forth and it's hard to do it's hard to find quality men and people that can do all these things right, right? Mm -hmm. so that's our our juggling so 
I just have now four and then um, five in another two weeks that will be able to handle the maintenance. But what we're going to do is we're going to do a, a more of a more of customer service. I don't need, you know, after somebody does a, um, a job out here, I know we did a, a porch, um, a screen door and install and it wasn't completely done as a couple trim board where the homeowner was angry because it wasn't finished. Totally understand. Well, we didn't have a supervisor in behind that person to say, hey, um, you need to finish that, right? Make sure it was done. Thank you very much to the customer. You're good to go. Um, so we're gonna install that protocol in place that it was done, it was checked off. Then we're gonna get you guys a phone call back to you and say, hey, how was everything? Was the person that was installing everything were they were they polite? Were they good? Could do good work for you? Was it completed on time? All the things you know. And then we want you to sign a document saying, "Hey, I'm good. I'm signing off. It's all good to go. Thank you very much. See you later." So we're gonna we're gonna be doing that with all of you all with um, the upcoming builds. We also have documents we're writing on there. What the men do every day. So if I'm gonna start your house, even if I'm not gonna start your house right now, we're gonna write these papers out. So if I'm gonna build that dark house right now me as a builder i'm going to fill out okay day one i'm going to do this and do this so i'm going to go all through my week the next week the next week and then i know it's going to take me approximately three weeks to build the house hopefully i can get that on co-construct where you as a homeowner can look okay wow this is what he hopes to complete now let's match up our our pictures with our uh you know our expected agenda to build the house right that's what my goal is for you all and for us and to get these houses and then everybody's on the same page and the builders feel the pressure and the need to get the houses out you know what's going on you don't have to call you don't have to worry about where my house is i paid my money six months ago i ain't heard nothing right only reason you haven't heard is because we're just bombarded and we apologize for that that's my plan all right so if i gotta hire a couple more people we're gonna do that we're trying to shuffle the people that we do have in the shop right now i think we can handle it for who we have on board and so we're gonna we're gonna play with that and get it down i've got protocols paperwork you know uh checklists all that stuff being put together right now to make sure that this place exceeds your expectations which it hasn't been it's been because we've been overloaded it's been we've grow had a big growth here in the last couple years especially the last six months um people come through here and they go oh my god i was here six months ago and this place looks three times bigger than it did before oh my god, yeah. you know mm -hmm. but I'm not intimidated by it. I love it. I love the growth. I think we're doing really well. Mm -hmm. um, the majority, 99% of the people are awesome. And they're so mm -hmm. understanding. I had a lady today that just hugged me and kissed me and hugged me in her, her house. Uh, it was Mary. Mary's been waiting for her house forever. Yeah. She's 1 million percent perfect with it. You know? She got a 10 by 20. 10 by 20. Yeah. Steal of a deal. And I, you know, I told her, I said, Mary, I said, how does it feel? To have a home yeah. that you have equity in. I know, exactly. How does it feel knowing that home is worth more than what you paid for it? Yeah. I said, where can you go and buy a home and it's worth more than what you paid? I know, exactly. I had a guy come in today from Sevierville. If I'd have had five homes for sale today, he'd have bought them all. Mm -hmm. All of them. I got another investor near Knoxville. He asked me, he said, I'll take four right now. I know. Just send them. It's crazy. Yeah, so I, I can't build them fast enough. I mm -hmm. think that's what's going on across the country. But it what is. I like, but what I like, what I'm doing, everybody, is that we're selling these houses from <clears throat> from nineteen thousand to a hundred thousand, mm -hmm. right? And that's what I'm proud of, is that we have um, we have good homes, and the whole style that I brought into these homes is not building a Taj Mahal, mm -hmm. a, a home that is so decked that it takes so long to build. Yes, right. We want to pump these out. And I'm talking to more and more people. They said, I love this big room that I can turn into what I want to turn it into. Mm -hmm. um, we will show you a, a video of the Cardis and they put their house mm -hmm. on a rental. They did. And they mm -hmm. took an ESP that was just a raw ESP inside mm -hmm. and out. Yeah. Look, 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 look at him running. <laughs> Woohoo! Good boy! Good boy! <laughs> Come on, let's play. What are you doing, Ace? And uh, I want to show you a video of what they've done with that house. They've taken just raw panels. It looks so cute. And now it's on a rental program. They did a great job. They and did. And there was two sweet ladies, 
today and I didn't get to meet them but I got to see them I looked out the window and seen them but they stayed they're their first renters in that house in the Cardis yes in the Cardis yeah they came in Sunday <coughs> nice. yeah they came in Sunday and they had an appointment with Will and Becky on yesterday I believe it was it could have been this morning nice. could have been this morning I, well I went over there over the weekend and they wanted to show me I was Sunday I went and looked at it yeah and I was like oh my and you know what it's, it's a beachy cute. theme and he didn't stucco inside. No. They painted the walls mm -hmm. with the rivets, mm -hmm. and then they put some wood over top of yeah. it. Put some wood. It they got it all great. from Lowe's, and mm -hmm. it looks great. It was awesome. Yeah. yeah. So I'm excited so, to tour it. I want to show you all. That's that's my frame of mind for our tiny home. So that's the style. That's the whole feel of my business and what we're trying to accomplish. Now we do turnkey, beautiful paint, everything nines like you've seen mm -hmm. uh well even the lenders they fixed it they painted their whole that house beautiful they painted their whole house yes you know will and becky will and becky a lot of work into there yeah and Both i think homes. i think everybody putting sweat equity into a home and getting a great deal on a home it helps us it helps you it helps mm -hmm. everything roll and we get more homes out i don't know that's kind of what i've taken on as a personality for our company look you at know? the beautiful sunset the colors in the fall are amazing the colors of look at look how it is through the camera. Oh yeah. Isn't that beautiful? Pretty. Oh, I want to tell you, my mom lives right here. Yeah, I didn't know if he's going to touch base on that. I will. Mm -hmm. Um, my mom's right here. I want to give you guys an update. Uh, mom was diagnosed. She had had lung cancer about 12 years ago and had a hunk taken out. Mm -hmm. But um, about a year ago, she went to the hospital. The doctor said we've checked all of her pancreas and her liver and her lungs. He said, there's a lot of stuff going on, really not much we can do. It was about, about a, what, 18 months ago, a year ago, so. and he said, just keep an eye on it. Well, it, it's all kind of coming to a head now, mm -hmm. and uh, she was great a couple of days ago, but now she's really went downhill. Mm -hmm. So we've got hospice and some stuff going on, and we got people helping us see the mom, and it's just wonderful having the folks here have been volunteering and spending time with mom. I mean. Mm -hmm. I'm so busy. I get to go in and out, in and out, but there's somebody with her. And, uh, and, so. and two, I just want to say, Marianne has been with her since we brought her back uh, from Florida. And four Mary, years. Yeah, for four, this is the fourth year, almost wow. the fourth year. And Marianne stays now. Marianne was just staying until noon, I think it was, and then now she's staying till three. Yeah. So she stays all all day with her. Marianne washes her and takes care of her and yeah. takes care of her medications her medicine, and stuff. And everything. she allows me to go in and out. Yeah. just to help me on that yeah so we've been blessed i've been blessed to help somebody help me with my mom right in these years because i don't know how i could do it in running a company right you know but uh she's sleeping a lot now and she's not kind of up and running and doing a lot of things so just hey everybody she's nine gonna be 96 in december so mm -hmm. thank you for all that you've done in the past and pictures and postcards and all the stuff that you've done and thank you for coming and visiting her she is always love people yeah and loves to say hi and all that stuff always you know? love visitors so, yeah. i just want to give you a heads up about my mom mm -hmm. living here so um what do you think well probably uh, i haven't been in the i, I haven't even been in the shop been today in the, let's go in the shop and look around let's go look at some tiny homes <laughs> okay So this will, oh, excuse me. This is all gonna be under a roof, hopefully. You know, we'll build a wall down here. This will be a 20 foot ceilings going out. That's exciting. Yep. I'm so excited about that. <clears throat> and now the 60 feet comes all the way out to here, Amanda. <clears throat> so it'll be a It'd be nice to have that. This is a this is a big process. You can go around there yeah. and see all this water on this concrete. They originally had a building over all this concrete. It was a massive factory. It was two hundred thousand square feet of under roof. Yeah. <clears throat> There's no water right here. It just okay. looks wet. Okay. But um. Wow! Look at all the houses. It's hard to keep it all dry because even if we had a roof on it, it's going to rain here and go under. So we're thinking about raising the concrete a couple inches and forming it a little bit higher just to keep the water from going in and then down this way. So and you have gutters on everything. And yeah. You know what I like is 
and your idea about that black metal would be great. Yeah. Be coming down here mm -hmm. and green growing all over it. I think it's, it's going to look really cool. It be like a color like this would be just yes. beautiful. Yes, that's what I want to yes. do. And then we're going to do something with the building there. Um, mm -hmm. I, I guess you guys, if you've been watching long enough, and I think that's why people have moved here, is they know where I'm not going to sit still. No. They know I'm not going to just let the place look like right. it is. The only reason that things haven't been done yet is just because we're so busy building homes. So busy. Homes are the priority. I have switched gears because I see yeah. our market flooding us. Mm -hmm. We've been able to raise our prices to be able to do something with this company. Right. And I really waited too long because we took a beating and I should have kept my 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 eyes on the on the numbers more, but we've just been building homes, physically building mm -hmm. and going and doing the day-to-day -day grind. And a friend of mine told me, he says, don't get too busy where you don't make money. Yeah. You know, that's and that's what I did. <clears throat> um, but if we can keep this system going in a couple three years we'll have this thing really honed in beautiful landscaping and beautiful community there's going to be a couple hundred people live here you know which is awesome this is like a little community it's like a little town it is you know it is and i want to make it a little town i mean i want to make it really cool looking and i always like i'm not going to stop thinking and i'm not going to stop mm -hmm. creating and stop dreaming it'll constantly be added to and i think it's neat but the people that are here um, have to be dreamers too. Mm -hmm. You can't come here and not dream. You can't come here and just yeah. be patient. You can't, and that's why I only charge two hundred dollars a month mm -hmm. because it is not done yet. You know, if it was, if it looked and it was completely pizza, what's pizza? Pizza. <laughs> I don't know what pizza is. I mean, then it would be it'd be like five to eight hundred dollars a month. Somebody told me, "Oh my God, Randy, it's worth so much more." I, I know, but you know what? I don't want that. That wasn't what we were doing, mm -hmm. you know. So I just want to look because the backdrop. I asked Randy to kind of move over, but the backdrop of this ten by twenty, this ten by twenty, that nine by twenty-eight, this ten by twenty, this what eight by twenty-four, twenty-four. So and another eight by and twenty-four look, and another, another ten by twenty, 20. Th another ten by twenty. Then my box. They're yep. just down. They all look amazing. And look at the trim. Look at this one right here with the copper roof. And yeah. then it has the trim on it. Don't that look nice? Love that color. Yes. The wood. And that's just raw wood. They'll probably end up painting yeah. it or doing urethane in it. And you this know? is stunning. That dark is just so pretty. Yeah, and that was, that's gone. Yes. Yep. Yep. Sold. Yep. And we got live so edge up in this gable. With you saying that, oh yeah, the live edge. Yep, all uh, wood. We probably want to mention that, well, I don't know, the 40 foot container. I mean, I keep saying 40, 20 foot. 20 foot container is still available. Available. Yeah. Okay, but the other, the ESPs are gone. Yeah. Yep. Mm hmm. Yeah, they didn't last two, three days. Oh no, they gone. didn't. If I had 100, I think they'd be gone. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Oh, I agree. And we can't build them fast I enough. I agree. I'm also trying to, if you guys are living here and watching the show, I don't know if anybody watches it anymore that lives here, mm -hmm. but um, I'm doing my best to get the post office. That's my next yes. venture mm -hmm. is to really actually start it. So we're trying to do that. Mm -hmm. um, so we're gonna start building some panels, get That's the floor great. system built, put the post office over there and get that done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And. Um, Man, look at all this. And I can see there's been a lot of progress on these and they're keeping the area much cleaner than than that. Used we got to be. men out here helping men. You know, we got supervisors helping them and trying to teach them, teach these young guys how to build. Yeah. And um it's I'm excited about it. I'm yeah. really Look at all this stucco. Now they worked on that this afternoon. Yeah, David Rodriguez and I think Tim Brew was out here mm -hmm. and they got it all separated into colors and where they go. And that's what we need. We got all Great. these homes to stucco. Beautiful. Okay. Let me do a shot of this house right there. Just the way it looks, not stuccoed. What's wrong with that? I mean, honestly. And you can live in that house forever like yes. that. It doesn't, you can paint it like um, mm -hmm. Mike Tice did. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mike painted it pretty blue. Yep. Right over the screws. And it's like, what? I know. Beautiful. Okay. Well, wait till we show the Cardis and what they did. Okay. You know, come on, Ace. Good boy. <laughs> He's all excited, man. man. Terry, what are you doing? Sleeping. Sleeping. Yeah, we're fine. What? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Terry's gonna have to tell us about this house. 
Terry, what do you think about this house? Look at Terry. It's a house. It's just a house. It's a house. It's all right. Are you about done? Yep. Terry has gotten to the point. I said, do not make me like you. Yeah. I try not to. I'm still trying hard not to like him. Swear to God. (laughs) (laughs) Terry's coming along, ain't he? Oh, yeah. You stay here. Get back, buddy. Let's, Let's see. look and see what's going on. I swear. Let me clean this off. I'm sorry, I just blew all of it out. What are you doing for us, Alright. Oh, wow. Look at you putting this flooring in. It's coming, baby. So all the trim is up, all the ceiling's up. Yep. You got all this done. You got to do the barn door. Barn door. You got all the upstairs done? Yep. Awesome, man. Yep, we got to put the barn door in. Hey, who's your daddy? Right there. Why you can't say that? Who's your daddy? Ah! <laughs> this is Terry's first house. Yes. Correct? Yep. Yep. I didn't want to give it to him. What? He's telling the truth. I don't think I gave anybody a harder time than Terry. No, yeah. No, well, he deserves it. Oh. And I do. He's a bad person. He is horrible, not a horrible person. Horrible person. God, be careful with that. I'm so scared he's going to mess up, man. Uh, 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 All right, so he puts the floor down. Here's, here's, look at this kitchen. It's got an extra cabinet in it. Got extra plugs along. Wow. Four big plugs along here. This is beautiful, man. Yeah. I love it. It's a 10 by 24. Big. 10 by 24. Yes. And of course, once the floor's in, then what we do is set the toilet, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we got everything rolling. Yeah. Wow. Nice. Good, good, good. And this is our typical uh, RJO floor plan with a staircase. Okay. Your stairs going up, mm-hmm. washer and dryer here. I have had people on their custom designs wanted a stackable washer and dryer here in the closet here. So, I don't know. Some people say there's poor reviews on the small washer and dryers combos. Really? But Zach, who I've works not here, heard that. he loves his. Yeah. I think, I can't remember the name of it. He was. I've not heard that. Infinity or something like that. Yeah. And he loved it. Him and his wife, they washed their clothes and, you know, anyway. Mm. I like it because it's small and compact. I think a lot of people say it takes too long to wash and dry their clothes. Right. But um, I like the, 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 the condensed part of it, you know, that makes it worth the inconvenience, you know. Yeah. Let me show these cabinets. Yeah. Okay. So these are our matrix cabinets, right? And... The reason we don't put knobs on there is that's a personal thing that you guys can do of any color and design that you would like. So here's your cabinets. Yeah. We got a Titan water heater. That homeowner requested that little bitty water heater. So we'll see how that works. I'm excited to see how it, how it comes about. Um, you got your gooseneck faucet. And then, of course, we like, we've taken an inexpensive metal uh, sink and we undermount it. Mm-hmm. And then so it I'll, can be flush. And I love taking this, mm-hmm. right? Put it on here. Done. Beautiful. And that is smooth. Is that not cool? Mm-hmm. And then over here, of course, we'll have our prop. I don't know if she gets it. Uh, I don't think she gets a cooktop range hood. No, I, I can't remember. So. I didn't look sure. at it. Does she? Cooktop in the drawer. Okay. It's, it goes right here. In the drawer. Okay. So she'll get that. But that'll look cool. You got this whole kitchen mm-hmm. bathroom. And then the 24 foot gives you eight, 12. 13, 14, 15, 15 plus feet. Mm-hmm. So think think about this. 15 feet. Yeah. I'm going to go times 10. It's a little bit less than 10. That's 150 square feet in one room. Yeah. Where do you get that in a tiny house? Under 300 square feet in a home. And probably you want to mention about these big slider windows that she has. She had, mm-hmm. she requested these sliders. I think it looks like she's Spent a lot of time in the Caribbean. Um, she picked out these sliders are four by four, four foot by four foot. Mm-hmm. So we like to use a uniform slider when we can. Makes it look nice, especially in one room. If you go to the kitchen, that's fine to have a, a single hung. But that looks really nice. So you got that whole wall, whole wall. And, and this is a panel home. And I think this home is going into the forest? Prairie. Is it all prairie? Okay. Like the prairie. Okay. Yeah. Excuse me. Well, yep. It looks great. Love it. Ace, get over here. Put it in the 
<laughs> Thank you, Terry. Oh, I want to show the stairs real quick, Brandon. We didn't touch on that. And the stairs is for a full loft, you know? Mm -hmm. So the stairs, what I like about it is it's a full staircase that's not too steep. No. It's not got at the all. seven and five eighths rise. It's got the treads. It's easy to come up and down. Very comfortable. When you get up to the top, you can stand and you can sit on your bed. Mm -hmm. Very comfortable. Exactly. Walk down and you're good. That gives this whole living room. Once she's in there and decorates this thing, I could just imagine the room that she'll have in here, you know? Yeah. And I think it's a green color with the yeah. burgundy like uh, tri uh, trim and the. And white. Yep. Yep. Nice, very nice. Beautiful. Yeah, and then here we have this beautiful ocean breeze style home that's being mimicked. Hey, we did it. Let me ask, has Mike yeah. been here this week? I've not heard him or anything. Has he been that's working? A good, that's a good question. I asked Alyssa, I said, are the kids maybe on fall break? Maybe I don't he's know. coming out. I've seen Chuck, I meant to ask. Yeah, I, I don't know. Anyway, I've not, I haven't seen Mike. Well, they got the rafters going. Yeah. This roof is cut all up. You got a dormer. You got a reverse dormer, you got a shed dormer, another reverse dormer, and you've got an eyebrow dormer. Mm. A lot going on in that roof. Big house. And that's why it costs so much to build. This is probably close to a hundred grand, this house right here. Yep. Mm -hmm. sure then, is. of course, you got these going down here. We got ESP going up again. We pull them inside so we can throw the roofs on them. Mm -hmm. I'm going to really miss this great big, I'm not, I mean, we're going to have it. I'm going to miss not having it next door because it'll be a flat ceiling yeah 20 feet high it'd be different but i love this right here yeah but it'll be wow. but we'll still have it we'll still have this oh yeah and what it'll really do is it'll take some of this out of here we don't want it to be so cramped yes. you know correct so hey tune in tomorrow mm -hmm. and we'll walk through these houses and show you more about what's going on we'll try to do a show in the morning yeah so and uh so we got to download this show still tonight it's probably what time is it? It's 7.30 almost. Oh, my goodness. On this beautiful Tuesday night. I know. Um, but thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. And um, sometimes we'll, you don't know what we're going to do on these shows. And I like to be comfortable. It's still, I feel such a responsibility to show you homes and show you what we're doing. Mm -hmm. But I hope that you like just seeing this and seeing us and seeing kind of how we live. And I'm going to go through tomorrow. And I've got to uh, print out some uh, questions. Because we're getting a lot of questions we've not had time okay. to answer. Okay, <clears throat> that'll so. be great. Um, I feel a little, my allergies kicking in. If you guys hear me, I'm draining a little bit. Yeah. I apologize for that. Uh, come see us, 850 Industrial Road, Newport, Tennessee. Love to see you, talk to you, make an appointment. We'll show you around. Have a great night. Hey, come here, boy. Hope all them fleas are gone. Come on. Come on, Ace.